Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And today I am going to talk about my very slow approach to losing weight. I want to announce the winners of last week's giveaway. Wearing the smoke palette on my eyes today, I am wearing the rose eyeshadow palette on my eyes. As you know, I am just going to talk about what works for me. I I am healthy. I have a little issue with an electrical problem in my heart. With that exception, there is nothing else that's wrong with me. My lab values are great. I, I, don't, I don't have any other issues. Before I would ever start any new, I call them programs. I say I'm on my program, I'm off my program, I'm on my program. I would talk to my healthcare provider because there are different foods that can affect people differently. I have a best friend since birth. Our mothers were pregnant at the same time. We lived a block apart and she was about 10 years old and she was overweight and they sent her to the doctor. And her doctor told her she just couldn't eat anything white. And which meant, you know, no sugar, no flour, no rice, no, you know, anything that was white basically. Well, I kind of have adapted that throughout my life when I've been kind of conscious about my weight. And on March 6th is when I started making changes. And it was before the shelter at home. It was after I got some lab work results. And although my blood sugar wasn't high, it was higher than it ever had been. So I knew I wanted to make some changes. Right now, as we speak, as I'm filming this on Tuesday, I don't know the date up there. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've lost 16 pounds. And that may not sound like a lot, and it's not a lot. It averages out, I think it's been 24 weeks, and it averages out to about two-thirds of a pound a week. Once I started losing weight, I thought, you know what, it would really be nice if I lost a half a pound a week. And I don't take any selfies. I'm, I'll put my very first selfie on the screen. And that this is really what I look like now. Because in that photo, I looked a little thinner than I really was. It was the angle. It was the clothing. But I was in a hotel, and they had that great big long mirror. And I just took advantage of it and thought, well, I'll take a selfie. So you'll never see a selfie on anywhere, even on my thumbnails. Those aren't selfies. Those are screen grabs. I'll pause the video when there's something that's halfway decent and sometimes there's not anything that's halfway decent. But anyway, that's that's what I look like. I'm probably about five, seven and a half and um, that's all you need to know. You know? <laughs> but I am very content with my weight. I have absolutely no joint problems and I've never been told to lose weight from a doctor. Just like religion, food is kind of a religion to some people. There is not one size that fits all. If you are vegan, if you are vegetarian, you know, this isn't going to be for you. But these are the foods that make me feel the best and have the most amount of energy. I, re I respect how you eat and I hope hopefully you'll respect how I eat. At one time, eating the way I'm going to talk to you about how I eat, at one time, I lost 90 pounds and I kept it off. And I'll put a card in this video and I will link it below. I talk about it in a video. It's not one of my very favorite subjects to talk about, but I was very successful in losing and keeping off 90 pounds when I was well over 50. Well, now I'm, I'm just about 67 years old and I have no desire to lose weight quickly. I want to lose a little bit of weight let my body adapt and lose a little bit more. And basically what I do is moderate low carbohydrate. And a tool that has been very helpful for me, and you can buy these anywhere, it is a food scale. It's one that you can put your plate on, hit the button, it zeroes out. I use this to measure my frozen fruit. That That, that is the number one reason. I also use it when I'm like, measuring out soups to freeze for later or anything like that. I want them to kind of all be the same. That's just kind of how I am. But I use my food scale a lot. I don't count any vegetable. I do not count the carbohydrates in any vegetable with the exception of corn, potatoes, peas. I don't, I don't, I don't even think about any other vegetable. 
We usually have our first meal anywhere between 11 o'clock in the morning to 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and that's just when we get hungry. Jim usually has a little snack when he gets up, but that's just usually when we have our main meal, and I eat as much as I want to eat. I just want to feel satisfied, and I want it to be a nourishing meal because the older I get, the more nourishment is important to me. I eat anywhere between 50 and 100 grams of carbohydrates a day. I try to avoid simple sugar and white flour because I know the effects of simple sugar and white flour, just any simple carbohydrate, how it works on your body physiologically. Let's say I hadn't had anything to eat and I was walking by and there was a plate of homemade chocolate chip cookies. On an empty stomach, I would eat one. Well, my energy level would go up and then it would soon plummet. And I don't really think it is my lack of willpower that wants me to grab another cookie. It's that my, it's that my energy level has gone all the way down to the bottom. So I kind of think it's a physiological approach to overeating. So I don't have cookies in my house. I don't have anything in my home that would tempt me. If there is something I want, I will eat it. Last week, we were in the next town over and decided a Whopper sounded good. So I had a Whopper. I had a Whopper with cheese. I ate both pieces of bread. But I don't know when the last time I had wheat and I know I haven't had wheat for the next 10 days. I'm, I'm really sensitive to wheat. A lot of people are, some people aren't. But if I don't eat wheat, wheat, I don't have, like I said, I have no joint pain. If I would eat wheat the way I used to eat wheat 10 years ago, I would have terrible pain in this joint right here and my right hip would hurt. Once I stopped eating regular flour, my pain went away. And some people say it's glutens. Well, I don't, I don't eat enough rye or barley. Those, those are the other two. It's, it's wheat, barley, and rye that are con considered glutens. So I don't eat enough of the other to know if they bother me or not. It's truly a very simple approach to, to eating. You know, it's not much different than my friend whose doctor told her when she was 10 years old not to eat anything white. If I want a potato though, I will have a potato. I just won't have a potato and an apple and you kind of know what I'm talking about. But my goal, you know, you'll see all these videos, how quick you can lose weight. Well, what's important to me is how, how well you can keep it off. You know, I don't think it's too hard to lose weight. It's much harder, I believe, to lose weight slowly. In last week's video, I had mentioned that the Built Bars were back. Well, I, I happen to love the Built Bars. I ordered my first, I'll put my invoice in here. I took my name off, but I ordered my very first ones in October and I waited until I got an email that they were having a sale and I placed another order and I think that was in February. Then I placed another order, I believe in March and one in May. And that's when in the video, and I'll link the video below, I talked about the Built Bars, how much I liked them. I contacted the company and I asked them if I could get a discount code for you and they obliged. And I put it on my video and they were completely sold out. So unbeknownst to me, they were changing factories, they were changing formulation, and you couldn't buy one anywhere. And I think you can only buy them online, but I'm not sure about that. What I liked about them, they had good protein. They didn't have a lot of carbohydrates. They had, fi they had fiber. And I understood most of the ingredients that were in there. And they tasted delicious. Well, the late, in late July, I got an email from the company and they said they're, they're about ready to go out. And they did offer me another discount code. But I want you to know, if you use my code and you've never ordered from them before, I do make a commission, but I like these so well that I, I wanted to talk about them. I think what they're meant for are people that are bodybuilders. Well, I may not be in the gym pumping muscle, but I do like something that tastes good, that is healthy for me, and you might, you need to check it and look at the ingredients. They're very careful about listing the ingredients. It seems like they're anywhere from 130 to 170 or 80 calories. Most bars have between 17 and 19 grams of 
protein. And if you count net carbs, they usually have four or five, or if you, if you do total carbs, it's 10 or 11. And they're full-size bars, and they're delicious. This was the caramel brownie. They sent me a box that had every flavor in it. And I will tell you, there was only one that was iffy, and that was the plain coconut. The coconut with almonds was delicious. I'm just not a true, I don't really care for, I don't care for fake coconut scents, and I don't ca care for fake coconut taste. I love real coconut. I love Baker's coconut, whatever, Angel Flake. Of course, if you can get a piece of real, you know, fresh coconut, it's even better. But I haven't found anything that I did not like. You know, I had told you in other videos that about once a month I, I crave ice cream. Well, I haven't craved ice cream since I've had these, and I've eaten one every other day. And you know I'm going to talk about the cost, because cost is important to me. I placed an order using my own 10% off, and I think it was for 18 bars, and it was $34.91, I believe. The cashback program, Be Frugal, and I always have links to those below, offered 15% cash back. So I'm gonna be getting that cash back from Be Frugal. There was 34 cents tax, and this made the price for 18 bars less than $30 and I think it was around like $1.64 a piece. And for that much protein, I'm, I'm very, very pleased with it. I kind of like to have one every other day just because it's something for me to look forward to and it keeps me out of the other stuff, the things that sometimes you crave. Here is a Built Bar, I just opened it. I'm not gonna go into details because if you're interested, you can look and see if it's right for you. But this is the size of the bar. Put that into my face. I haven't tried this flavor yet, but they're a nice size bar. And when I was speaking about the energy protein, this is what they look like. They look like this, and it's meant to take with you when you go someplace. It has 15 grams of uh, protein, 90 calories. The one I tasted was peanut butter and honey, and it was delicious. But I think these are like for bodybuilders, but they're also, I think, kind of smart to have in your home if you can't get a hold of protein at some point. You never know. This I know I will not use. This is zero calorie water, and it has a ton of vitamins and stuff. And they come in packages like this, and they're meant to mix with water. I will give these to my grandsons because I, t I, don't, I don't take vitamins. I try to eat well. The only supplement I take and I have taken for probably 12 years is biotin. And even though I have a thyroid problem, I'm, my doctor is fine with it. I know biotin sometimes can mess up lab results with your thyroid, but I haven't started doing collagen and I probably should do that. But I just feel good without my vitamins, you know, so Again, one of these days I might do that, but just not right now. So how I incorporate this in my day is I, I don't eat anything after 5 p.m. I go to bed very early, I think a lot of you know, but I usually eat, start eating about 11.30 and I try not to eat anything after five. These bars do not make me crave sugar and I appreciate that fact. So some of you have asked for meal ideas, so I'm gonna go ahead and film I'm gonna go ahead and insert some photos of some of my favorite meals. I do not use recipes, I just fix things to taste. I don't have a recipe on anything. I didn't include any breakfasts because breakfast is pretty easy. Everybody knows what they like for breakfast. You know, like I eat yogurt, I try to get the kind that doesn't have much sugar and I add my own fruit to it. Uh, of course, you know, there's there's just a lot of easy breakfast things. And online, just go online and see if that, this is something you're interested in. There's just so much information out there. Now I wanna show you some of my meals that I have prepared. With the exception of dressings for our salads, we eat very little processed foods. Jim does eat differently than I do, but I do not cook separate meals. 
In the 80s, I started substituting cabbage for any recipe that called for pasta. I like the flavor of cabbage better than pasta, and it is a staple for me. I buy at least one head a week and often stir fry the whole head and then put it in the refrigerator to use as I need. There are a lot of things I can do with it. Sometimes I add cheese and it's kind of like macaroni and cheese, but only with cabbage. I can add shrimp or other vegetables. I also brown and season ground beef. And usually when I season something, it's with onion and of course, salt and pepper and, and garlic, and I freeze it in single size servings for a quick, easy meal for me. This is browned and seasoned ground beef over a bed of cooked cabbage and topped with cheese. The next one is also browned and seasoned ground beef with cheese and onion, coleslaw, and a measured serving of bonitos. And bonitos are chips that the ones I like the best are the ones that are made from great northern beans. The next one is a just a frozen Asian mix vegetables and then I added shrimp. This is roast beef, green beans with onions and I stir fried the green beans, roasted radishes and coleslaw. And this coleslaw was bagged, I made from bagged coleslaw and I don't like it as much as shredding my own coleslaw. This is a salad. It's my least favorite lettuce. It's iceberg, but because I'm on Coumadin, I have to sometimes watch my greens and sometimes I don't. I have my lab work done every month. And so I eat lettuce according to what my lab values are. Uh, I have browned hamburger, tomato, jalapenos, cheese and salsa, and some sour cream. This is a hamburger patty with Thousand Island dressing. I have broccoli and cheese and a whole avocado. And I try to eat an avocado every other day. I try to make that a go. I think it's super healthy for me and I just enjoy it. When I have avocado in my salad, often I don't need to have a dressing, but that's not always the case. The next is sausage patties. I have romaine lettuce. I top them with hard boiled eggs. I've been fortunate throughout my lifetime to eat eggs that were free range, that came from a farm, a local farm. Although these yolks aren't as golden as they usually are, they're usually just a bright, bright gold, and I just really appreciate good eggs. And on top of this salad, I did use ranch dressing. The next one is romaine lettuce. It has shrimp, red onion, black olives, and avocado. And I didn't use a dressing with this one. And the next one, I use too much dressing. This is a luncheon size plate, and it's butter lettuce, and it's a hamburger patty split in two. And I think I have uh, onion, avocado, Harvati cheese, and Thousand Island dressing. And that's just a few of the things that I eat, and hopefully it'll give you a few ideas. And now I want to announce the winner of last week's giveaway. The first name that popped up did not want to be entered, but I wanted, to, wanted her to know that she was the first one, and her name is Fire Inspector 1923 but she wanted to pass her winnings on to someone else. So the winner of the It Cosmetics Smoke Trio and the other items is Cindy Pass. Congratulations, Cindy. The winner of the Bare Mineral Rose Palette and the other items is Missy D. Congratulations, Missy. I want to congratulate the winners. Uh, just make sure you leave a comment below and I will let you know how to get in touch with me. It is all good. You're appreciated more than you'll ever know. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. So one of these, I can, I can eat. Good morning. And announced the winners of my last two. <laughs> it was after I got some lab. So the other three, I'll put the, the video.